Yay, it's launch day. Welcome, Crafty Peeps. We are really happy to have you with us. It is Crafters TV here. Uh, you're joining us at Crafters Companion for a brand new world launch today, which uh, you are already shopping in your droves. Boy, did we have a busy craft along, but actually busy because you were already buying the launch. Uh, lots of this stock is already going. I'm not surprised. It's depleting by the second. Uh, it's all because of that amazing wax seal kit. Yes, I said it. Wax seal kit. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. I love it. I do. I genuinely love it. Michelle loves it. We all love it because it's so beautiful. Now, not only a wax seal kit, you think that in itself would be amazing, but also there's paper pads to go with it as well. Uh, so it's going to be a great couple of hours. So if you've never seen a wax seal kit before, uh, that's good news for me because it means you've not seen my blooper. Um, <laughs> but if you, oh, it says George has got it lined up, so you might uh, might see it today. Uh, but the wax seal kit is absolutely incredible, so uh, we're going to be seeing lots of that. Now, I'm not on my own. Uh, we always have a very special guest in the studio, uh, and today that's our amazing Michelle, who is truly amazing at construction. But Michelle, are you truly amazing at wax seal kits? I'm not bad. I'm not on your <laughs> level. I'm not on not your on level. My level. Oh, no, we've got no hope. <laughs> Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's a beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, and <coughs> there's all the tools in it. You don't have to attempt it with your heat tool when there's a fan blowing on you. Um, you can do it <laughs> properly and fabulously with this kit. Uh, and I was just saying to Debbie, um, when I was at home, Alice was having a right old play with this. Um, marbling them. So you've got all that mixture of colours. So they're just absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. Oh, absolutely love that. Well, Ben McCarthy's in the house today. Ben, where have you been? We thought you was going to be here this morning. He, he uh, was. He's messaged me. Well, oh. I, I ring him between every show and he said, I was the first one to comment. He says, and my message didn't get passed through. Oh, you know what? Rachel's and I forgot spot. about that. Not all messages get passed through. My always says to me, I messaged in. I go, yeah, but some of your messages aren't suitable to send in. So, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Ben is with us. Uh, ben, just a little, you know, you haven't been sending goodies in, although Alice did. Alice has sent a nice cake in to let Alice know that her cake is apparently delicious. I've not tried it yet, uh, but it has been tried by Tracy, um, and she absolutely loved it. Yes, so, she did. Um, she wants more. Um, <laughs> uh, the Flaming Galahs in today, so welcome. Sarah Brown. Um, Danny's in today saying hello, everyone. Uh, Mary Shaw is in saying happy Sunday, getting ready to go to church. Uh, and then I thought I would catch the show after. Um, Nancy saying hello, everyone. Can't wait to see the demos. Yeah, me neither. Um, lots of you coming in, so we will get to those later. But let's show you exactly what you are getting because this is an amazing deal that you're getting today. So it's the showstopper. Um, now, what's great about this showstopper is not only are you getting two brand new paper pads, you're also getting everything else you see in this bundle, which is an amazing deal. So you can see you're getting your um, uh, your it's gone out of my head boxer board, and you're getting your Vela box on there as well. Now, even if you've got one of those, always handy having a second, but also they're giftable. But you've then got that wax seal kit. You've then got the extra wax colours in this kit as well. And we're popping in some red liner tape so you can make all those different projects, which is absolutely incredible. Now, you can see already we've given you an amazing saving of £24.72 or $27.64. But platinum price is amazing. Now, remember, as you can see, at the bottom there it's double points now it's double points on everything so no matter what you buy on the website today uh, whether it's in the sale whether it's on offer whether it's a showstopper you will absolutely be able to get those double points on everything now just wait before you do anything more because if you buy the showstopper today you might be aware that we're doing another deal that deal is incredible in itself so basically if you buy the showstopper we're popping it on the bottom there so you'll be able to see it um, you'll if you also put this deal into your basket as well which is the Christmas 12 by 12 paper pad um, it's the double paper pad set put that into your basket and you're getting it half price okay so that's a really good deal it means you'll get four paper pads in total uh, so a really amazing deal on that one so really worth going for that <clears throat> 
Now, let me show you, first of all, uh, this train in front of me. You probably, if you didn't see it earlier, um, this is by our Sandy Brett. She has done the most incredible job with this train. It's actually an advent calendar. So each one of these comes down. You've got your little box inside there that you can see. So you can put all your little advent treats in there. I'm definitely going to be making one of these. We have our Sandy to do um, full instructions for this. So we're just waiting on those and hopefully she will get them to us soon. But wouldn't you say that is the most incredible thing ever uh, I just absolutely love it now the whole thing has been made out of those paper pads so let's have a look at the paper pads just wheel that to the side uh, which should we do first let's do the wax seal kit first <clears throat> let's do that uh, right it comes now you'll have a wrap around which is on the uh, screen when you see the uh, shot of everything you get in uh, that comes around it but inside you find the beautifully packaged wax seal kit which is amazing uh, and I love the fact that it's just been beautifully presented to you it's very sophisticated as our George just said yeah absolutely and this is your wax seal kit now I'm not going to show you too much about this because I'm going to let Michelle show you everything you get but what you do get in the wax seal kit is your gold and your silver so that will create these three here in that gold and that silver but also in the showstopper so you could go for this on your on its own if you just want that one you can absolutely go for that on its own um, but if you go for the showstopper you will get all the additional colors and these are the ones you'll be getting so that antique gold that rose gold and that platinum you'll also be getting these golds the reds and the greens um, so you can get all of those with those little wax melts in the little bottles so that's a really great kit to have um, and like I say just beautifully presented now with those you are then getting your paper pads let's have a look at our first one uh, this one is our Christmas cheer um, it's absolutely gorgeous well I thought so Nicola's just said in my ear this was her favorite I thought it was my favorite then I looked at the other one that was my favorite as well so it's going to be a tough choice yes yeah, got two favorites yes uh, but look at these I mean double-sided beautiful quality uh, full of Christmas cheer I mean it really look at this I mean it's so this is a little bit Norwegian uh, these are the toppers so let me just bring this back in so choo 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 uh, there you can see the toppers have been made uh, on there absolutely incredible but look at the patterns you're getting on the opposite side um, they're just gonna match so well you're still getting beautiful pattern papers there but you're also getting all those amazing toppers you're getting stripes you're getting beautiful motifs in there you're getting your stockings your little Christmas trees there is so much in this paper pad it is quite incredible uh, I just know these are going to be hugely popular if not the most popular Christmas paper pads that we've ever had uh, I really do think that and I think because of the colorways on this look at those real sort of pastely pit look, I mean look at that for a scene absolutely gorgeous uh, use your glossy highlights to enhance your glitters if you were lucky enough to get the puffy snow I wasn't Michelle was you lucky enough to get stick I don't think none of us got the puffy snow uh, it's absolutely beautiful but you can use be using all sorts to accent that amazing paper pad then the other one we got is our C Seasons greetings uh, and I love this one as well I just think it's got beautiful designs in here I think this is definitely a paper pad I think Faye has her name written all over this I'd be shocked if it wasn't Faye and uh, we're gonna check on that one because she puts so much detail into her paper pads there's some more little uh, toppers there that you can be using on that amazing train uh, she puts so much detail into all the backgrounds so the foreground the faux ground uh, they're just absolutely stunning lots to look at in these paper pads and they really do put a smile on your face so I think if you wanted to pop them in at that extra um, and get those half price as well for another set of two onto there uh, but I think you'll agree these paper pads are absolutely amazing uh, so go for that showstopper price today 71 pounds 20 uh, platinum or 86 dollars 40 and you'll get those double points as well which is amazing uh, right i think we're 10 minutes in shall we head for a demo let's have a look michelle <gasps> so excited <laughs> so excited um so yes yeah, so this wax seal kit we're um gonna have a little play it's not gonna be as um epic <laughs> <laughs> Steppies, but um, you know, <laughs> <That's good. laughs> it'll 
it'll be all right. It'll be all right. So you can see you've got all this lovely um, stuff in here. So I think before we go through it, what we're going to do is first off, this is, as you can see, this is, as Debbie was saying earlier, what you're going to put your tea light under. Now, you're going to want a tea light that's about half an inch depth. Okay, so it's just your normal tea lights. Um, so you can see if I pop it on there, it's about half an inch in, in depth. Anything bigger, and if you need to trim your wick down as well, because if you've got a long wick, um, what's going to happen is when you pop it under there and you pop your spoon on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go out. Um, so if it's too high, so if your uh, tea light is too big, um, there's just not enough air going round. And obviously, you know, if there's not enough air, then your um, tea light is going to go out. So just be mindful that you just need a normal, regular sized um, tea light to use this. So I'm just going to light this and it can be sort of heating up while I talk you through the rest. So you're just going to pop it over there, <coughs> just like that, um, and you're going to move it to the side. Um, pop your little spoon on top and that can be heating up. So you've got this little handle and this is obviously to decide it's going to screw in beautifully. I mean, look, it's a, just that on its own is absolutely beautiful. Is, yes. So you've got that lovely bow with the bell, you've got that lovely snowflake and you've got those stars there. Um, with this, you've got the beautiful gold and you've got that gorgeous silver that comes with it. If I just pop that to the side. Um, there is the other two sets as well. So you've got these three gorgeous colours here. Let me just bring in my boxes. So this one is your um, anthracite gold, your rose gold and your platinum. Again, absolutely gorgeous colours. And then the other three you've got is a gold, a red and a green. So perfectly Christmassy. Um, these you can be if you've got any of your other ones that we've released because we've had a few come out with some um, of our collections then obviously be using um, it's you know it's really hard to talk when you've got someone singing <laughs> well, kind of chameleon. I, mean, I thought you were very good I would have been singing along with them Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> right so uh, first things first what we're going to do is so this is warming up lovely I'm do you just know gonna... what I love about that though, Michelle, is it's safely, it's, it's safety, isn't yeah. it? You yeah. can't burn yourself on the side there because you've got that nice wooden element that's stuck over that candle. Yeah. So I think they've just done it perfectly. I think they have, absolutely. They, it's just, it really is wonderful. Um, <coughs> the design and everything that they've, they've thought it through, it's almost like they did it, you know, they do it for, <coughs> for a living designing these kind of things. But yeah, it's gorgeous. So the hardest thing is deciding which colours you want to use. So for me, I think I'm going to use that anthracite, this rose gold, and I'm going to use the red. So you need roughly four um, of these, four of these little chips. So I'm going to use, uh, you can use more, but the thing is, you're just going to get lots more sort of um, squeezing out the sides. Um, so I think four is roughly the perfect amount to create... Um, a gorgeous stamped image so let me bring this over so you can see it we're just going to put those four in there and I'm mixing the colors because you get a beautiful marbling effect with these see we're just going to sit now and wait you can see because I've, I've sort of preheated it they're uh, warming up and melting absolutely gorgeous so again you've got three you've got eight different colors to choose from from um, and again, you don't just have to use one colour at a time. Mixing them up creates the most beautiful um, marbling effect. Oh, so I never even thought about that. Yeah. That's very them. cool. Yeah, me and Alice was having a real good play with these. Just, can you see how it's melting absolutely beautifully? Um, obviously, we're going to give it a bit of a mix. So you can mix it up with your pokey tool if you want but i'm going to leave it as it is because once it's all melted you just give it a swish and the thing is just by pouring it out and um, that's going to mix it and give you that beautiful marbling look at that oh, i love oh, it look at george <laughs> so good look at very that. good that's very very close up it really is so it's melting absolutely beautifully so again um, if you've got any of our previous wax melt kits that come with some of our other collections, you can have different ends and you can have different coloured waxes as well. Um, unless you're very much like me and Alice were this weekend um, and you're going to have none left by the end of the day because this is the most amazing thing um, to play with. Just sat watching the wax melt 
Mm -hmm. It's just as much fun as anything else. So you Does can see. Does anyone say, else want to say, I'm melting? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. So I've just got that last little bit just there in the middle. I'm going to poke it down. Uh, I wouldn't at home. I'd just leave it to melt. But because I'm obviously here, we want it to hurry up. But just sat watching it melt is just... It's and it's just, actually quite quick. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, look at that goodness in there. Look at it. So you can see how far of those little pearls are, those little beads. It's absolutely uh, more than enough. So, you, Michelle, talking about how many, is there a minimum, a maximum? I mean, what would you... So, so four, we, we had a bit of a play. Um, two <coughs> gives you such a, a thin... Right. layer mm -hmm. it's it's a bit pants really just so, for want of a better word so it might be pants but would does it still work in respect of if you wanted to post something and want it thinner yes would yeah. that be a good idea to do that yeah it would still work absolutely right um just a very two thin. two would be the absolute minimum yeah um it would be a very thin image um that when you've got far it's the perfect depth because you've obviously you need to cover um the depth as, of this as well so you need to make sure far is absolutely perfect it really is so you can see that's melted now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour it onto my glass mat <gasps> oh so I'm going to pour oh, it onto there, I'm going to that. swizzle it about, and then I'm going to pop this straight into it on here. So you're talking about um, 15 to 20 seconds okay. um, for that to um, sort of dry. Now with this, um, I the perfect thing to do is just get some kitchen roll or some toilet tissue, anything like that, and just wipe it out. Obviously, be careful because it's going to be hot. Mm -hmm. But if you let it dry and then try to run it under the hot water, it's wax, it's dried. It's not going yep. to come out. So either let it dry and enjoy picking all that wax out, or while it's still hot, just to get some tissue or a tea towel, something like that, uh, and wipe it out. So I'm going to blow mine out for now because I don't need that anymore. But I'm going to leave that there. And while I've been talking to you, that's been drying lovely. So I'm just going to pop that out. Oh, look at and that. And you've got that beautiful marbling effect. Now, what I was doing at home, because I've obviously dried it on here, I can just stick this under the edge. And it doesn't go like a wax where it breaks or snaps. Um, I can get this under here lovely. Can you, can you hear it peeling up? Yes. And it peels off. So then what I've got is, if I run that through my Xyron machine, I've got a little sticker that I oh, could, um, you know, pop on the back of my envelope if I wanted to. Um, I had a silver pen right next to me. Let me have a look. Let me bring in this green one. So actually, you say about that then, you don't... So I'm thinking that you have to put that directly onto something for it to hold on to. Mm. But actually, by doing it like this, you could make lots of them so you're not wasting your wax that's already in there. Yeah. Um, and just have them ready to stick on something. Yeah, Love yeah. that. Absolutely. So if I bring in a couple more that I've done, you've got that green and you've got that silver. You've got that one where um, it's mixed a lot more. Yeah. That one, I put... Um, so that one I put five beads in. Um, and can you see how you've got lots of overspill mm -hmm. or squelching? for want of a better word. So these are all done with four and absolutely perfect. But bring in one of your pens and then let me pull that off. So you've got that lovely bow up there. Just highlight Ooh, the that. bow. Or for instance, this one with the, the snowflake. Go over with one of your metallic pens. And would you recommend metallic or can you use your alcohol pens? You can use your alcohol pens, but I'm just, I'm thinking it's Christmas. Yeah. Um, you're going to go over with some of your metallics, aren't you? Definitely. So just really emphasise that little bit of design that is on there. Um, so yeah, so that is how much fun it is. Obviously, you can put it straight onto your project uh, and do it. It's going to pop out. You can see it pops out beautiful and clean. So I'm going to let me just move this to the side very carefully. And then we'll pop this. Um, we'll pop it on a little card. So I'm going to pop those to the side and I'm going to bring in this. So this is some of the papers from that gorgeous kit, um, those paper pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm making my own 8x8 card. So let me just bring in some glue because I haven't popped it together yet. 
So if you're wanting to make an 8x8 card, you literally, you cut in one piece that is 8x8, one that is 8x8 and a half, and you've got that half inch tab there that um, obviously you're going to pop on there. And you've got your 8x8 card base. I love an 8x8 card. Sorry? I love an 8x8 I love an 8x8. Mm -hmm. It's a nice big... It's not too big, it's not too overwhelming, but I love an 8x8, definitely. So let me just give that a nice burnish to make sure it's nice and stuck. And then what we're going to do is... So this linen cardstock is from the Summer Meadows 12x12 cardstock that we've got. Oh, yes. Um, nice. But you can see with those paper pads, how perfect does ah, it work? Oh, yes. Absolutely goes gorgeous. So we're going to pop this down. So just a nice matte and layer. Because I thought we want that lovely wax melt to be sort of the focal point of this um, card. Because you don't just have to use them for um, your envelopes and things like that. They're just a lot of fun to use as an embellishment. So let's pop that on there. And so this piece I've got here is from one of the pads and this piece I've got here is from the other pad. So you actually can see actually, um, how different sort of the, um, the elements are. This is very much more um, fun and cartoony, for want of a better word, and this is very much more, I think, traditional. Probably hence the names on them. One's traditional and one says um, traditional and... Contemporary. That's it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always that yin and yang, isn't there? Yeah. But you're right, they go very well together. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's pop that on there. And then we're going to pop this at the bottom. Again, just because... Um, I have to just look at the pad for that dotty one because it actually looks shy. They look like shiny dots, but they're not. It's just that there's little, little bits of snow in there, isn't there? Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Hence why I'm using both pads, because I couldn't quite decide every time I did a demo <laughs> um, which one to use. Right, so we've got this here now. So what we're going to do is I've stamped out just for you. And I've just cut down um, a couple of pieces just into strips, just to create those sort of um, flag effects. I'm going to pop those there for now, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this. So what I've created is um, you're just going to get, um, uh, I'm going to call it a slice of paper then, a piece of paper. Mine is three inches wide. If you do it obviously two inches wide, it's going to create a smaller one. Um, you're going to concertina it. See, so I've scored this at half an inch um, all the way round, and then you just concertina it just like that. So we just concertina it. And then what I've done, instead of it all being patterned paper, I've added a little bit of uh, the plain paper. Again, it's this um, paper from that Summer Meadows pad. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring it in and we've got a little... Oh, um, beautiful. What are they called? I can never remember what they're Rosettes. called. Rosettes. That's it, thank you. A little rosette. So what we're going to do... That's is, a big rosette. Actually. It is a big rosette. I might have got a little bit carried away. I love it, though. It's amazing. <laughs> so, so while I'm holding it, I've got just a circle die. It's got a hole in the middle because I'm going to do something different with it, and I didn't, but it seems a shame to waste it. So just with my hot glue, I'm going to pop some glue on there. I find this, this the easiest way to get my yep. rosette down and stuck nice and quick. Pushing them all in, and then that can hold it. Yeah, you can't beat a hot glue gun, can you, for a quick grab? No, no, definitely not. So I'm just going to hold that just for a second, and let's turn it over. And I'm going to glue one the, to the other side. You don't have to. Um, I always tend to do. I always worry that it's going to pop off. I don't know yeah. why. Um, so I'm going to glue that there and then I've got a nice solid piece in the middle to stick down rather than me trying to stick all those um, individual pieces down. So let's turn that over, pop that on there. And then we're going to decide which one of these 
we want to pop on. I think I'm going to use that, all of them. <laughs> I'm going to pop that one on because I think that's just, I love the mix of that yeah, pink, that's beautiful. the silver and that lovely red. So I'm going to, um, again, I run um, at home, I run mine through my Xyron machine um, and then used them as a sticker. But for this, I'm just going to pop some of my tape on. Would your hot glue gun melt it or is it, would it not be hot I don't, I didn't for try it for the, the simple fact that yeah. I thought it would melt it. So should we have a go? I mean, I wouldn't have thought it would melt it enough to make a difference on the back. No, I wouldn't. Let me, we'll pop the hot glue there and then we'll pop that on. I mean, it looks like a button now, doesn't it, when you put them on like that? Yeah. Yes, you could use them. No, there's no heat coming through the top at all. So, yeah, oh, absolutely brilliant. use your heat gun. At home, I thought to myself, oh, the heat gun will melt it. I'm not going to use it. Instead of actually having a go. Right, yeah. Um, because my daughter had discovered that they run through my Xyron beautifully. That's so amazing. we did nothing else other than keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and then all we're going to do now is I've got my Just For You. And I've got a couple of these. All I've done is we've just give them some little just movement into sort of an S shape. I'm going to pop these two in the middle, just under there. And this one as well. Pop that one under as well. And then here we're going to do exactly the same. Oh, I'm making some noises today, I do apologise. <laughs> We'll let you keep your noises over there. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> this is looking amazing. And then that other one. So again, picking any one you want, we're going to pop that on there. Now I know oh, that my lovely. hot glue gun is going to work. Um, I'm going to use that to pop it on with. So just using that as sort of the little button for there. Lovely focal point with it there. Those Love gorgeous that. papers. Um, and then if I turn that round for you, you've got that lovely um, rosette well, just for you. Well, all I can say, Michelle, is I hope that wasn't, you haven't peaked, because <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Nicola's saying, we know there's a train coming. <laughs> not, not this one. Choo, 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 choo. There's a smaller one of this coming, uh, which is uh, amazing. Now, if you want to grab those wax seal kits, you can absolutely get um, the, the best way to buy this is in that showstopper, which is incredible. Uh, it comes with a two paper pad. It comes with extras of the little wax, uh, little wax uh, pellets. Uh, you've also got your uh, scoring boards in those as well. And you've also got your red liner tack, which is amazing. Um, you're getting a platinum price, £71, 20 or £86.40, uh, $86 which is incredible. You're also getting all of your double points on there as well. Now, now, bonus buys. If you pop all your showstopper in your basket, add in the showstopper as well, which is your two additional paper pads, it will only be £14.50 or $19.50 extra. Um, that's at your full price. If you're platinum, it'll be even lower. That's amazing. And you'll get two each of those pads. So four pads in total, which is incredible. Uh, I love that we're doing the extra pads because we know you multiple buy. I feel like we're giving you those savings now, which is brilliant. Uh, but you will get all of that wax kit. Let me just show you that wax seal kit again. Uh, beautifully presented. It is absolutely amazing. I just love that. Everything about this is quality. This is such good quality. I'm going to turn off oh, this top thing out. They, uh, just show you this. Uh, everything about that is very, I want to say mastered. It's been mastered beautifully, crafted beautifully. It is absolutely a luxury kit. Uh, and then to be able to get three of these. And like Michelle says, um, in the past, um, there's lots of extra um, ones that we've done in the past. I, 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 very, um, I want to say the Letters from the Heart had one in, um, a few of Sarah's signature ones, so you'll be able to use those again. Um, and these are the colours that you'll be getting 
in. So in that original box, you'll be getting your gold and silver. You've then got your gold. Now, these are the ones you'll get an additional in that showstopper. You're getting your red, your gold, and your green. Uh, you're also getting red, gold, and green. Come, 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 Sounds good because I'm hearing them in my ears singing with me. But when I'm singing on my own, it's probably not so good for you guys outside. So I do apologise. Um, and then you get those other ones, which is your antique gold, your rose gold and your platinum which is absolutely beautiful and then you're getting those two paper pads as well which you're absolutely loving right <coughs> uh terry's saying he's having a, oh she's sorry terry having a very good morning um it's your birthday happy oh. birthday terry hey. yes I hope you treated yourself to a present today, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Susan's saying hello to everyone. She's looking forward to seeing what we have. Uh, Louise is saying hi to everyone. LQM is saying good morning to everyone. Lynn is in saying afternoon, everyone. Uh, Sarah's in saying good morning. Crafty Pete's from Ohio, Ohio. Uh, Denise is saying hello to all my crafty friends. I hope that you are all well. Yep, yeah, I'm well. Are you well, Michelle? Very well, thank are you. Are we well in the gallery? Yes, we're all well today on this Sunday. Uh, Sandy saying good morning from Buffalo, New York. Um, Rachel is in saying hello uh, to everyone from South Australia. Uh, Susan's in saying hello from Las Vegas. Las Vegas, how amazing, having lunch in Las Vegas. Uh, Georgianne saying hi Debbie and Michelle from Clearwater, Florida and my crafty friends. Uh, uh, in fact, the list is going on and on. There must be lots of you joining us today because there are lots and lots and lots of you. Sharon saying looking forward to seeing the new paper pads. Good afternoon from Plymouth. Kathleen's in. Kathy's in. Ingrid's in. Saying I've had my heart set on the wax seal kit for quite a while, but they were way too expensive at this price point. It's an incredible deal. Yes, I totally agree. Uh, lots of you coming in. You, I, honestly, there's loads of you joining us. There are so many comments, more than I've had in a long time. I'm not even sure we're going to get a chance to read them all out, but thank you and keep them coming in because remember, it is the last. Oh dear. Um, um, I've just heard something something in my ear. Uh, but uh, keep your comments coming in because it's your last chance in this next couple of hours to get your name put on the Christmas tree in the jar. And then we'll be a winner tonight for the £250, $250 win uh, on the website. Uh, now, we're going to show you a bit about Club Inspire and then some crafty fouls. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. If you love Crafter's TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. 
it would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. of our viewers bring it up time and time again and that's our wax seal seal gate thinking though it might not work as well because i've put too much <laughs> <laughs> oh i've forgotten to put me um me thing in place <laughs> because i have a way of words but i think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong water that, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You right? I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> That does me every time. It just I just think when you've painted something and you've wiped it out with all that water. It was so good. It was even better than the one that I prepped. You were so lucky though, Michelle, because I don't know if any of you know, but we don't we don't pre-make anything for a craft along. We make our finished project. Yeah. So you was really lucky that you had a finished one. Well, no, it was the pro so the projects that I'd created mm. for obviously for you know for uh, as to share on social. So it wasn't it a was, craft along. It was a craft along. Right. But I'd made the project and then Lily had took the pictures and everything. So that one that I had with me was the one that I had to sort of bring in and say, so if you do this, this and this. So I, I didn't have one sort oh. of pre-made just except for the, the craft along that I'd done oh, for the photos. No. So I she was... literally picked it up after and it had gone, hadn't it? Yes. <laughs> That's yes, hilarious. I picked it up and the whole picture just <laughs> slid off in one perfect piece. <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> just awful. We all have them. Uh, in fact, we're talking about crafty fowls. Why don't you tell us if you've had one? Uh, they don't have to be crafty. You might just have had something you've done in life that uh, is funny now but wasn't at the time. Um, I definitely have a story about being stuck in the mud, um, which I still makes me laugh now, only because Al didn't find it funny at all. And I don't know how he didn't find that funny. Uh, and a recent one was being um, eaten alive by a monkey. Um, so, um, <laughs> you about that last night. Tell me about that last night, yeah. So, you all have things that happen to us, don't we? So, let us know if you've got anything funny that's happened to you. Uh, right, let's get back onto it because we do have the launch. I love that we've got a launch at the weekend. It means we bring you something brand new. This is a world launch, not launched anywhere else. It's our new wax seal kit. Now, if you go for the showstopper today, you're saving the most amount of money. Uh, it's 89 pounds. <clears throat> or $108, uh, which is a massive saving. You are actually saving $24.72 or $27.64. Now, in the wax seal kit itself, you can see it's beautifully presented. It's just an amazing, giftable gift as well. Something that everybody would love to personalise either your envelopes, your makes, your cards, your gift bags, your tags. There's so many different things that you could be putting this onto. And I think it's been really well thought out with almost this little burner, uh, which you put over your tea light, which I think looks incredible. It's very luxury. You've got your two gold, you've got your gold and your silver. So you're getting your two wax melts in there uh, with your actual kit. So if you're going for the kit today, that's what 
you will receive. If you're going for that showstopper, you'll get additional items, which are your three little metallics here, which are your antique gold, your rose gold, and your platinum. You're also getting those red, gold, and green, uh, which are amazing. So you're getting all those different colors. Like Michelle did with that first one, mix them about, have a little bit of a play with them because they are all incredible. Um, and Michelle's also saying that four seems to be the right amount to put into those little wax uh, spoon, uh, into the spoon to melt them. Now the pads themselves, uh, we've got our Christmas cheer, uh, come with lots of different uh, patterns on these because they are incredible. Uh, did we find out if, if Faye did these paper pads? Oh, it doesn't say, we can't confirm. Uh, but lots of different things to look at in these. The colors of these are just beautiful. Um, love all the little toppers. These are the topper sheets that you've got on there. And if I just bring that train in again uh, from our Sandy Brooks, she's made this and all these uh, points on here are made from those topper pad uh, so lots of things you could do with them I think especially if you're making an advent calendar uh, it's absolutely amazing uh, so if I keep going you'll be able to see all those different colors that real Christmas cheer in this pad uh, you've got those peaches those red the corals the, the pinks uh, but also the real sort of limey greens and lovely beautiful frosty greens in there I absolutely love that one uh, but then you'll look at this one and you think that's it I love this one as well well if you're going for that showstopper you don't have to choose you are getting both of those pads if you go for that extra deal and pop those in your basket you'll get another additional two pads as well uh, and get them half price so it's a really good uh, bargain buy to go for today uh, absolutely love that one uh, remember if you spend 50 pounds or 75 dollars you will also get a free gift that will be our christmas tree with crafters companion logo and your 2023 for this year so absolutely amazing you can see just down below there uh, the 12 by 12 paper pad collection um, you're getting that at half price if you buy it with the showstopper but you've got to put both into your basket to get that saving uh, right Right, Michelle, let's get back to another demo. Right, so uh, using again these gorgeous paper pads, it's very hard to flick through and use a particular one. But for what I wanted to do, I chose this piece. Uh, not only have you got the perfect fussy cutting elements in here, uh, it's just stunningly beautiful. But I also wanted to be able to use the opposite side as well. So just as absolutely gorgeous as the main piece. Um, so what we're going to do is I've got a piece of card here and it is 10 by 9 inches. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a box with it. So if I just score all those sides, which I thought I had done but I hadn't. Once it's popped together, we've got a lovely little box. It's three inches high um, by four inches wide that way and it's three inches wide that way as well. So before we put this together, we're going to bring in uh, these. So I've used some Cherry Centura Pearl and what I've done is I've just cut some strips of that gorgeous paper. So I said I wanted to use both sides of it. So we're going to layer the piece of that pattern side on it but then the back side we're going to lay it over the top um, I was going to put some ribbon around it but then I thought actually using the opposite side of the same paper pad um, looks lovely so we went with that so what we're going to all mine are, are cut down to fit the the sides so the box is far, four inches wide here um, and it's two inches wide there so they're all cut down um, to fit perfectly so I'm just going to pop some glue onto there so it almost seems um, a shame to cut these down but um, they are just I mean I sorry if I bring that in look I fussy cut round that one how lovely um, is it so even if all you did was pop that fussy cut element onto a piece of um, 4x4 four four or a 6x6 six six card front, put Merry Christmas on. You don't really need much more because it's just stunning. So let me just trim, trim that away. And then all we're going to do is we're going to glue this gorgeous pattern paper all the way around the edges. So there and there. So you can see that mine started to curl a little bit because I've got uh, two layers of glue on there which is absolutely fine because it's just going to straighten out perfectly just by giving it a bit of a um, burnish with your fingers like that. 
So then we're going to pop this down and we'll pop this box together. So the, the gold that I'm using is from, we've got those gold, rose gold and silver 12 by 12 cards, pads. Um, there's got some glitter in there and then there's that um, pearlescent in there as well. So that's what I've used for this. So let's just pop glue on all of these. I mean, I could have done this before, but I wanted to show you at least one of the boxes. I've got two already made up. So at least you don't have to see me popping three boxes together. So I've left um, a border. Uh, you don't have to. You can pop it right up to the top and right to the edges if you want. I've left a border with mine. All these little things, um, it depends on what, what you want to do. You might think it looks nicer um, straight to the top. You might prefer it with that bit of a board around. It really doesn't matter. Is, is it just me? I, can, I swear I can hear a bee. Yeah. There is a buzzing. A buzzing, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like a distant, maybe lawnmower, lawnmower or hedge or trimmer. Something. Yeah. I did see a fly in the studio earlier and I, I nearly panicked and ran because I thought it was a wasp or a bee. And I think I'm just a little paranoid now. <laughs> <laughs> a little worried. Right, so that is my um, base and this is my lid as well. So you can see I've done exactly the same. I've just matte and layered some of that gorgeous paper um, onto this lid. So let's pop this lid together. So I've done this on my scoreboards, my base I've done on the base side, my lid I have done on the lid side for this one, because it's just your classic box. Let's get that on there. And then let me, oh they're there. I'm gonna bring those in so you don't have to watch me holding it while it dries. Oh yes, that's def that if that's a bee, that's the world's biggest it's the bee. The world's biggest bee, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this last one. <laughs> Apparently Tracy's mowing the lawn. <laughs> Not that I've seen a lawn outside. <laughs> right, so I'm going to bring these in. So I've got two boxes already made. I've got my um, that gorgeous, gorgeous paper all the way around. But on these ones, um, I've used the paper, then the Centura Pearl, then the paper. Whereas on this one, I've used Centura Pearl paper paper because this is going to be my front one. These are going to be my back two pieces. So I just wanted to alternate it just a little. And if you can see inside already, I've got a couple of um, brads. I've left them in there so I don't forget or lose them. Um, and I think then what we're next going to do is we're going to cut out lots of circles. So again, if you've got our nesting dies, um, you're going to cut out lots of circles. So I've used our glitter card and I've got three um, on each. I've got three layers of the glitter card and I've got that one centura pearl on top. Um, because these are going to be our wheels. So if these are our Ooh. wheels and you've only got one piece of card there, if you put anything in it, instantly they're going to start to bend yep. and bow. So you need at least two or three layers um, for that to stay where you want it to go. So I'm going to bring in... If you had mixed media dies, you could cut them out of mount board? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely you could do. And then you could just ink it up. You could bring in any of your glitter paste or your glitter glues. Um, anything like that. So we're going to pop one on and I'm going to roughly sort of do it half and half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and on this side I'm going to glue this one on because what that enables me to do is quickly stand it up like that and then it's going to level them to the same height Ah, oh, okay, yes. By doing those opposite angles. If I put them both on one side, I'm not going to be able to stand it up and move it in time. So if I do it that way, I've got enough time 
to make sure they're exactly the same. So yeah, they feel exactly the same. Uh, if you need to measure it, if you want to put a line across all of yours um, and pop them on that way, then do it whichever way is easier for you. Um, I'm just doing it this way because I made so many of these, I can sort of by eye it. And then once I know that I'm happy with it, I'm going to press it down. Turn it over, do the last one. Even with a hot glue gun, you do have a little bit of time just to get it exactly right before you can sort of press it down and then it completely dries. So if I stand that now, that feels fine. So that's one of my little carriages. We'll do the same with the wheels on this one. Love that. If you wanted to, you could attach them with um, some brads so your wheels could turn if you wanted them to. Um, it's entirely up to you. A few different ways to um, attach the wheels. And again, I'm just by eye in aye, all this, <laughs> but um, you would take a little bit more time when you're doing it at home. And again, if you're more confident with proper measuring with like your pencil, things like that, then do it that way. But you can see, I mean, I know I've got all my pieces cut out, but you can see how simply these come together. The only thing is, it, is, um, it takes a while to do. But the thing is, um, that's what we do, isn't it? We're crafters, so we don't mind that it takes a while because you enjoy the process. Oh, absolutely. It's always getting to that finished part, yeah. isn't it? So, uh, yeah, like you say, we don't mind at all. So they're my two, um, my two carriages. So you can see that I've got brads already in there. So all I've done is I've popped a hole in. And then what you're going to do is you've got one of our oval nesting dies you're going to cut three oval nesting dies out. So you can see, if I just pop that off, you can see it's just an oval die. You're going to want three of these. And you can see I've popped a brad through the middle one and just attached those two to the sides. So they... Not that I can get it back in. There you go. So that is what's going to allow your little little train to move smoothly so what we're going to do with this one let's start on the back one so I've got the back one I've already popped a hole through in the middle in the middle so I'm gonna just attach that there we go so just attach it and then pop your brad back open and you can see that it's attached like that now so we're going to do the same with this one you can see I've already got a hole there so I'm going to open that up I'm going to turn that over this is the hardest bit it's, it can be a little bit fiddly once they're all attached to each other but it's not hard bring them back over and that is my two um, my two little uh, carriages so far and then what you're going to do is you can decorate these as much as you want, however you want. You can be popping your little stack of, um, I'm going to say sandwiches then, presents in. Don't attach sandwiches, that's just not going to do. <laughs> no, they're then be soggy. So lastly, let's pop this, this main carriage together. So we're just going to glue this all up. And then while this dries... I'll show you how to create some little extra elements on the front. But these paper pads are absolutely perfect for this. You've got one, again, more contemporary, one uh, more traditional. So you can have a real traditional um, train going round your Christmas tree or on your Christmas table. Um, I mean... Sand, uh, Sandy's is absolutely gorgeous as an advent calendar, but if you wanted to make one with the um, carriages open like mine, you could have, I don't know, whatever it is, you could have your napkins in it for your Christmas table, or you could have um, 
I don't know, what do people put on their Christmas tables? Little little gifts for each person that's coming. Oh yeah, I love that. So there you go. So let's pop that last one on. You could put, especially if you've got children, you could put like little stamped images and a few colouring pencils or something inside. Absolutely. You? Yeah, because yeah. like I was saying, you could have one of these for each child that's coming or each adult child that's coming. Adult uh, child. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so before I pop my wheels onto this one, we're going to pop um, a hole again because we've got these three and it needs to attach through here. So let me take this one out because what we're going to do is I'm going to bring, I always, I always use um, my eraser for this. So just bring in a pencil. Where's my pencil? And then again, I'm using my markings here to judge where that halfway mark is. I'm roughly about a half inch up. I'm going to put a little um, dot. Mark. Honest to God. So I'm going to hold <laughs> my rubber behind there because I'm going to poke through with my pokey tool. And if I've got my rubber behind there, it's not going to go into no my thumb. No fingers will be hurt. Sorry? No fingers will be hurt. That's it, yeah. And I always, always get my thumb or my finger. So our brad is going to go down because you're going to see the pretty bit, pretty bit rather than the, um, the not pretty bit. Popping that through there. Do you know go. what? I've had another thought. Well, I've had a couple of thoughts while I'm thinking of the wax melts. I'm wondering if you sterilise them, you could melt chocolate and make little chocolate buttons. Yes, of gifts. course you could. And you could put them in your train. You with the stamped course image. You could. Oh my God, yes. You well, might I'm have to let it dry a bit longer because wax, I think, goes harder quicker than what um, chocolate does. Yeah, yeah, but absolutely. You might be able to do that. And also, I was wondering, could you put things like glitter into it? Of course you could. You absolutely could so do if that. So you poured it, you'd have sparkly wax. Hmm. Yes, of course. I never thought about that, but yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Wax, Wax sealophobic. Yes, that was definitely me <laughs> up until today. And now I've got all these ideas running through my head with these wax seal kits. I literally, <laughs> I've ordered mine. Um, I can't wait for it to come. So you can see all I'm doing, I'm trying to um, just find that with my brad. Let me do it that way so I can see a little better. This is the fiddliest bit. You could, you could pop that hole through before you put all your box together if you wanted to. Um, come on. There you, I can see you. It's never going to play nicely when you're live on air. <laughs> Am I the only one who talks to my craft? Or do we no, all do it? I, well, I talk to every inanimate object I have. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've popped it through. You can see that it's come through. So I'm going to tip that on its side and we're going to pop it through that third um, oval that we've cut out. I'm going to give it a good press down. And there you go. So I've got my, three, um, my three carriages. And then what we're going to do... Let's pop the lid onto this one, um, which looks fine. So there's just a couple more things that we can do to this to make it look more like a train. So if I just pop that to the side here, I'm going to bring this in. So again, it's just a box that I'm going to make. Each side is two inches. Um, we're going to pop that round and we're just going to create that cube. Okay, and all I've done with this is I've just cut two squares out, a black one and then a gold one. Strips, just strips of card. It's as simple as that to create that cross-section on my windows. You could be really fancy and add some curtains in there if you wanted um, with some of this making like a faux fabric. Love that. Or you could just cut four little mini squares and put them onto your Yeah, square. yeah, absolutely. It's very effective, that. Try again. There it doesn't want to take hold. No, it's taking a little while. It's very warm in here, though. 
Yes, it is. I've just put the fan on over this side. <laughs> right, there we go. So a little bit of glue on all of these. You're not going to see the top or the bottom of this, so it doesn't matter that I've cut those at a bit of an angle. So let's pop that in. And then that last one. And again, I'm going to glue something on top of that, so it doesn't matter that I've got a little bit of glue poking out. My side still isn't stuck. Come on, you. Let's do the same with these. Pop a bit of glue. So and is again, this you're going to have a decoration. This one. Yeah, you're going to have a lot more time um, to do this. But literally, you just saw it's that lovely cube. I'm going to pop together. This is going to go on top of my front carriage. It looks like it's a, a derailed train because it ain't got wheels on the front <laughs> one yet. Derailed train. Derailed train. <laughs> right, so I'm going to pop that to the side. I'm going to pop my ink pad on it to let that start drying. Because we're going to pour my wheels, there they are, uh, onto this front piece. Really should have done it before I attached it, but again, it doesn't really matter. All comes together in the end. It does. It just means I have to turn three carriages over instead of one to get all the wheels on. But again, no problem with that. So let's stand that up, make sure that they're all right. I want that sort of you, I'm looking to see that the height is the same. Turn it over last two wheels oh we've got more glue oh we have got more glue sticks well emma had the same idea as me she said um the letters of the heart yes has loads of possibilities now and i might sprinkle some chunky glitter on before pressing yeah yes. that's really really lovely chunky glitter of course i mean yeah you've got chunky glitter we've got gilding flakes that you could use um that you could pop a little bit of that in there. Sandy saying they need a left-handed spoon for pouring. Yes, we should have put a little one on each side, shouldn't we? Sorry about that, Sandy. I will put that to uh, Leanne. You never know, perhaps if they bring one out again, they'll put it on both sides. So all we're going to do with this, you can see I've just cut a strip of card out. We're going to create a little chimney. So we're just going to curl it round as, as big or as small as you want it. And these are just all going to fold in. Um, and it's what's going to glue it down. So let me tell you what I'm going to do. Because it's taking... I'm going there. A little while for my glue to dry. Let's use that. So pop that on there. So the only thing I would suggest is I've made my crossover or my tab too big. So what that tends to do is it stops it from curving because it's too wide. And then let's fold these over because then it's going to stick there. That's going to be our little chimney. But what I'm going to do before I do that, we're going to wrap one of these, um, this round it, that gorgeous paper again. So let's pop tape on or tape pen on so so mine is a very very simple one because I wanted to be able to show you guys how you can pop it together and then what you're going to do is you're going to go very very OTT <laughs> create some amazing ones like Sandy I just wanted to show you how easy they are to come together. So we're going to pop that there, Look, but it looks ugly. So again, I've got a strip of card. I've put a score mark there that is as big as this, so it's two inches by two inches. And I've got a tab, and I'm going to just curve that on the edge of my desk. Because what's going to happen with this is we're going to glue that together. So again, I'm going to use a bit of hot glue gun because I've got that curve in it. It's wanting to pop open. This is like a mini craft along. It is. And I know I'm going very quick, but the thing is, you know, people can 
re-watch this absolutely and pause me or mute me if you want to <laughs> never and then it's going to sit on the top so let's sit that on the top so again i'm going to use the hot glue gun and then sit that on there and give it a good press down So again, I think mine's more of an old fashioned um, steam engine type. So that's all I was thinking it looked like a bit like a wagon. You know, when yeah. they're those wagon, those yeah. curved wagon tops. So that's that was gonna go on the front. Now really what I could have should have done or um, make that a little bit smaller, but again, depending on the size of um, yours that you are creating will obviously depend on the size that you make that. So, I this is looking have. amazing, Michelle. It, it comes together very easily, doesn't it? It's, Absolutely. Um, a nice, it, it takes a while to do, obviously, but it's nice and simple to put together. Let's pop some of that gorgeous paper on there. And I know lots of our viewers love a 3D project, love construction, so this would be a great one for your Christmas table. You could have some maybe little, um, uh, you could put dried flowers in there, couldn't you? Some nice Christmas foliage coming out of there. What's the oasis, I was thinking, like yes, putting it in yeah, there? Yes, absolutely. Having a, an actual table decoration as a centre point. You could. I mean, the, the options with this are just endless. You're going to find so many things that you're going to be able to... Um, putting this on your Christmas table, absolutely. All around your Christmas tree or just as a decoration on your coffee table, something like that. So let's fold all those down and then we're going to pop glue on these. And then we're going to pop that on the front. So my little chimney's a little bit too big, but doesn't really matter. So let me take my lid off so I can press underneath. And that one. Press it down. And then the last thing, which I'm not sure if I've got now, I had one second ago, I brought some cotton wool in with me. Oh, I have, I've got it here, look. <laughs> I knew I had it somewhere. So I've got some cotton wool pads and I'm just going to rip them up. Flip them up. These are circle, and I don't want to see any of that. And then all you're going to do is once you've fluffed it all up, I mean, by all means, glue it in. You don't necessarily need to. It's going to sit there anyway. Is shove that in there. And then if you, depending on what way your train's going, depends on what way the smoke's billowing out. You've got a little bit of smoke coming out there as well. <laughs> so that is literally the, the train using those beautiful paper pads. Um, and again, if you've got those wax seal kits, you can be using those on your wheels. So where I've used some red centura pearl, you could use those wax seal kits um, and pop those on there. So if I just bring that one in there, look, you could have those as your wheels. Uh, the, you know, the options are limitless, but that is definitely going to be sitting in there, those little presents. Uh, amazing, absolutely love that. We've got a few crafty fowls. Um, you were saying, uh, Deanna is saying it has been, uh, oh, a great week for showstoppers. Uh, Betty said the first time she was gilding waxes, she had a ceiling fan on. Ooh, ooh, everyone's ooh. Uh, Jane is saying, I once almost went to the grocery store with my slippers on. Uh, luckily, I figured it out before I got, as I got into my car. Yeah, that's good. It's not good good look to look like you've got your slippers on. On. Although I did see someone going into the supermarket the other day with their dressing gown on, so um, <laughs> you know, you know, you you be you, you be you. Um, Becky says she always forgets, forgets to put her acetate on. I hope that's not in your shaker cards, Becky. Um, and uh, Skimmy is saying crafty fowls are on a daily occurrence in her house. Uh, Kathy said beautiful papers. Um, Catherine said hi, Debbie and Michelle. I've just ordered two lots of the Christmas paper pads. I'm looking forward to 
after seeing your marvellous mates, Michelle. Had a mishap last night as I dropped a full bottle of wine onto the floor. Needless to say, the bottle didn't survive. Oh, I hope it wasn't red wine. Uh, not a good one to get out, is it? Well, it's not so... so that was my point, um, Nic Nicola, because it's all very well dropping your red wine. That's bad enough, but you've got to waste another bottle to put on top of white wine. So um, you've lost two bottles then, haven't you? Um, just like you say, I was working yesterday, so I had just watched yesterday's launch with Craig and Debbie. Um, uh, how talented is Craig? His demonstrations are amazing. We'll watch the show uh, later, but thank you to you all. Yes, great, great team they were yesterday. Um, a bit late to the party, um, uh, Ad yet is saying, um, but what Michelle is making, I love those Christmas pads. I'm literally going to scroll through because there are so many, so many comments. Uh, but Terry is saying that she loves the showstopper. Betty is saying, I think that a circus train would look cute as well for a child's birthday party. And she's saying, thank you so much for your demo, Michelle. I might have to go and attempt at making the advent calendar train. Evelyn saying, Michelle, please, please give us the instructions for that amazing train I'm sure Michelle will see what she can do Karen is also saying the project is so magnificent love 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 this Michelle makes some of the most amazing projects yes I totally agree uh, right we're going to let you check out your bar your baskets on this amazing deal that we've got today make sure you go for that showstopper because it is the best best value that we've got of that one uh, but for now we're just going to have a little look at this welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should we should should come be in? in? Should we come in? <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? <laughs> This is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get social with us. Whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, on your TV or tablet, you can get so close to the action, it's like you're in the studio with us. You can ask questions about products or crafty techniques. Get hints and tips from our expert demonstrators. Plus, share pictures of your crafty makes with our amazing community. Crafters TV, getting you closer to the crafty action. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me personally, it is 
personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the thing she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Uh, it's definitely all of you out there that make us what we are here on Crafters TV. So if you're joining us today, you will know that we have a launch day. Uh, and boy, do we have a launch. You are loving it. We've been super busy. The launch itself is all about the wax seal. Yes, I've said it. It's a wax seal. Who thought we were ever going to get a wax seal kit in again, hey? Uh, but we have, and we've made it bigger and better and amazing. Uh, and you are absolutely loving it. Now, most of you are going for this showstopper. It's the best way to shop. Uh, you're getting so much more in this kit. Not only are you getting the wax seal kit, which I'll show you in just a second, you're also getting additional little wax pellets, uh, which are in different colors. You're also getting those two amazing brand new paper pads today, 12 by 12, double-sided. You're also getting your red liner tape and you're getting those two boards to be really creative with. You're gonna be able to make all your boxes out of one of the boards and all your envelopes envelope boxes with the other one it's an absolutely super deal platinum price 71 pounds 20 or 86 dollars 40 which is amazing now the wax seal kit not only is the wax seal kit amazing which i didn't think those words would ever come out of my well you know wax seal amazing no would never have said that before but this kit truly is uh, i'm going to prove it in a minute i'm going to do it myself Yes, I'm going to do it. Um, but it comes beautifully presented in the most amazing box, which is lovely. Everything about this feels like it's been handcrafted personally for you, uh, personally for me. Um, and it's amazing because what you do get is this little thing here. If I pop that down, you can see it's just beautifully crafted inside you can see is hollow it means that you have your um, candle so you put a little um, the name's gone out of my head what are the candles called tea light candles pop that over your tea light candle the flame will be at the bottom there you then put the spoon so you use this spoon here pop that on the top that's going to melt all your little pellets in there then you're just going to use this tool to screw onto these pieces and then you can pop that in it's as simple as that and I love it because because the heating of this is much more simple, the pouring of it is simple, then just popping your wax seal into it is amazing. So it's gonna be incredible. I'm actually getting a little nervous now thinking I'm gonna demo one because I actually made a promise that I would never demo a wax seal kit again. Um, so uh, I'm literally, I never break my promises, but I think this is a promise worth breaking yes. today, Michelle, because uh, it is amazing. Uh, and I actually, as much as we all laugh, and I did do a bit of a blooper on the wax seal kit, they are amazing and look amazing, and there's so much you can do with them. Now, the colours you're getting in there, in the actual kit itself, you'll get that gold and the silver. So those are the two that will come with the box. So if you want to just go for that on its own, you can absolutely do that. But with the showstopper today, you're getting these additional colours. So you're getting your gold, your red, and your green, which is beautiful beautiful you're also getting that gorgeous platinum your rose gold and your antique gold as well and then you're getting those beautiful paper pads so this one is your season's greetings 
And you can see the colours change in these ones, the patterns change, but they're both just glorious. They have full sheets, double-sided of your beautiful paper pads. They also have topper sheets in here that you can see here, which our lovely Sandy Brooks has made in that tray, and I'll show that again in a second, um, which is just stunning. These paper pads are going to last you a long, long time. Now, if you're going for the showstopper, like many of you are today, we do have an additional deal on today. Um, and a lot of you are loving them we're actually doing a bonus buy um, the bonus buys have been very popular this week so with things that are new and the showstopper we give you a bonus buy of being able to put extras uh, an extra bonus buy into your basket which you will get half price it means that your paper pads you can pop into your basket you'll see that on the bottom of the screen there uh, your 12 by 12 paper pads uh, you're getting them half price but you must buy them together so you pop both your showstopper and that paper pad bundle into your basket and you'll get those half price it means you're getting four packs of this which is incredible um, these are just so amazing they, the one thing we know from you at home is you're always saying you buy extra paper pads so I think for us to do a daily a, an extra deal where you can pop those in and get that showstopper I think is a really good way to do it uh, right I've shown you all the showstopper shown you all what you can do uh, if you spend in fact if you're buying the showstopper today you're going to get this free this will come into your basket uh, at no extra pennies it's our free gift it's our Christmas tree it's absolutely beautiful so you will grab that one um, and you will get that absolutely free it's your last chance to get that free gift today um, because all of our Christmas um, I say all of our Christmas ends we have got Christmas stuff still coming up but our Christmas event ends today uh, it means this show is the last chance um, for you to get in our Christmas tree box so uh, at the end of the show one of your names will be um, uh, chosen uh, at random from our uh, from your comments uh, that will go in there and then tonight on second chance sunday we are going to be picking a name out of there and that lucky person is going to be winning 250 pounds or 250 dollars um, to spend on whatever they like on crafters companion website which is amazing right i'm going to hand you over to michelle but i'm coming across there now and i'm going to be doing the wax circuit <laughs> Who else is as excited as me to see this? This is like <laughs> demo of the year. Feel like you need like a real big. We need Ben well, to do. Well, I'm li I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to be honest because I feel like I've got to redeem myself. But then I'm thinking, what if I don't and I make a hash of it? <laughs> Let's, shall we just go for it? Shall I'm sure you'll be fine. So I've We're already lit it. On, oh, she's so, already done it, so yeah, it's all nice heating hot, up. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do a mix like you did. Yeah. So I'm going to use the rose gold. Do you have a piece of card, or are you doing it on the, the glass mat? Should, I'm going to do it on the glass mat. I think. Yeah. I don't think. Let's not overcomplicate it. Michelle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no twine in sight, is there? <laughs> No, I've hit it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to use just one red and then three of these because I want to get that gorgeous rose gold where we've got just a touch of yes. the red. Yeah. So let's do them. Uh, I have used these and honestly, when I use them, same as you, I thought to myself, they were super easy. Yes. Like yeah. so easy. So what I'm going to do, I think, is pop my those ones in. I'm going to let them melt a little bit, and then I'll pop this one in at the top. Well, actually, we can just pop that one in at the top. On top. There we go. Yeah. Slide it to the right. You mean the left? Oh, yeah, right. That's the right. <laughs> so you know what? I know my left and right. So now... <laughs> <laughs> Doing it the wrong way. Oh, I love these. They're amazing, aren't they? I am wow. really nervous. It's terrible. I mean, if you really wanted to put lots more beads in to get more of a marble effect and pour out sort of two little blobs to put two um, of your, what, your wax seals. Oh, yeah, we've got to get some yeah. of those, haven't we? Yeah, good reminder of that. Now, you see, that's blooper already, isn't it? <laughs> Not getting my wax seals out ready. Uh, someone did ask a question. If you could use your um, these on top of your other wax seal kits that you've got. I don't know, but actually you probably wouldn't need to because you'd have one of these with them anyway. Yeah. Um, so even if they don't fit, you'll have your normal ones to do them. The only difference is is that these come as pellets um, and the ones before come with a horrible stick that you have to um, yes, melt that's... down. <laughs> yeah, no one, wants, no one wants a horrible stick, a, a candlestick, do they? Uh, you want these now. Yeah, you want these because they're super easy. Yes. 
So let's just get it. It makes it just so much more fun. I mean, yeah, I you're right, it. those sticks. I suppose you could chop them up if you wanted and pop them in there. Let's, you said about a pokey tool. Can we grab a pokey tool so I can mix that in a bit so we can make that sort of marble effect then, couldn't we? Yeah. Oh, I love them um, ooze and ahs. Yeah. Can I get you to wipe that? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, look at that. That Ooh. looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, it's so nice. I love it. Absolutely love it. So you're all ready for this, aren't you? You're ready for me to do something really good um, <laughs> and not make a hash of it. Um, I should really go and grab the demo because we still have it. Although I did have one that, that someone else had done for me that I just stuck over the top so it didn't look oh, so did bad in the end. <laughs> right, do you think that's enough? Yeah, it looks all melted right, to me. Right, so let's pop it on. Let's move that that way. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh, look at that, it's amazing. Just that on its own looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, see, I thought I'd do a little bit of a, a technique there. And here we go, in there. Oh. I think that's pretty perfect. That looks pretty perfect yeah, to me. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think, yes, yeah, I hope you're all proud of me out there. <laughs> I mean, not only have I, yeah, full circle, full circle. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll just talk a bit. And um, uh, so your um, Alice loved these as well. She absolutely loved these. It was her who mixed a couple to start with and showed me oh, that. Dear. And I was like, oh, my God, why did I no, not I think did not of that? I not think of that. Yeah. Shall we try this? I would have brought some of Alice's oh, with me. Oh, oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. Yay! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> uh, could I have a craft knife, please? You can. Yes, you I'm going to keep this uh, <laughs> just because, yeah, I think. Um, actually, do you know what, guys? I'm, I mean, I've only got... No, I'm not even going to do it. I was going <laughs> to beg for a star then because I've only got one star and I don't do a lot of demos, but I can't do that when Michelle just made the most amazing... Um, yeah, the most amazing craft along and the most amazing train. So I can't beg for a star <laughs> just by doing that. But I have to say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself. I mean, that That's really beautiful. is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So hopefully you'll all appreciate that actually, because it's swelled like that, it looks like a rose. It does. Doesn't it look like a exactly snowflake. It's actually thing. in a snowflake. But um, yeah, let me blow that out, Michelle. There we go. All right, thank you, everyone. I'm going to leave Michelle to it and go back over there. Bye. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It definitely deserves two rounds of applause. That does. Oh, definitely. I'm so proud. Of, I'm actually really proud of myself, and yeah. I know I've done it. But I mean, I, that wax seal has been the bane of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, Michelle, do you have a demo for us, but do you need me to let you get ready for it? I first? do have a demo. Could I just, like, have 30 seconds there to get it ready? There you can absolutely have Thank 30 you. seconds. So let's see what everyone's been saying anyway. So let's have a look and see all of these. And then I will just show you this train as well again in a second. Um, so uh, Viv is saying the paper pads have been bought. Yes, I don't blame you, Viv. Kathleen's saying, uh, can it run through with a toothpick and, pick, and mix the colour? which is what we just did with the pokey tool. So a toothpick, you can absolutely do the same thing. Um, Donna's saying, you go, Debbie, show them how it's done. I think I did that. Yes, thank you, Donna. I did it. Um, could you please show the finished train when you have a chance? Yes, I will do that now. Um, Pam is saying, yay, Debbie, perfect. Nadia is saying, we are all so proud of you, Debbie. Charlotte's saying, woohoo, well done, Debbie. Um, I'm going to take it all. Anne Marie saying, she's so proud of me. I'm really proud of myself. Thank you so much. I'm just going to, I just oh, need to take a second. I mean, oh, just, you know, just. It's been, it's been hard, Michelle. It's been really tough. The last year has been really tough. No one has forgiven me for that demo. Anyway, it's all good. It's all good now. We can delete the video. Yes, we don't have to have it. Uh, the train. We have to show this amazing train. Sandy Brooks is uh, part of our design team. She is incredible at construction, just like our Michelle is. This, uh, I think, 
has to be one of the most outstanding um, samples that a design team member has ever made for us because it truly is so beautiful. I think the fact that it's been fought out really well, it's been made with the paper pads that you've got on your showstopper. Um, the design of it all is amazing. If I just turn that over slightly, you see the 25 on the lid there. That's your 25th day. You've actually got a whole box to put a gift in there. Uh, it's amazing. All the faux snow, our um, fluffy snow was put in there. Um, and each one of these boxes all opens. You can open all of these uh, that become your advent calendar, which is just remarkable. Um, and like Michelle did with the ovals to link them together, these are just larger oval designs. So if you've got an oval uh, nesting die, you can make all those pieces to put together. But I literally can't wait to see you all making these. We're really hoping Sandy's going to do some um, instructions from them. She has been asked and I'm sure she will put some together for you. Um, but actually it's quite a, an achievable project for you to do out there. So if you want to be making that very similar design with all these different uh, doors, uh, that's in the paper pad. So you will be able to use the paper pad to do that in. Uh, right, let's head back to Michelle and she's got a demo in store for us. Yes, uh, those, so those gorgeous paper pads again. So I've already got um, a strip cut out uh, and I've got lots of pieces already um, all ready to go. What we're going to do is, again, I know it's another box. Um, it's, it's box day today, can I just say. <laughs> so we're going to create very much um, similar to the boxes that we did for the craft along. So this is 12 inches by 4 inches. And this one is 10 by eight and a half. Now the reason, the way that I decided on what size box I was going to do is, so that sheet, let me bring my pad in for you. So that sheet that you've got in here, that has got all these in, um, I cut this out and they are roughly um, two and a half inches by two inches. So that is how I decided on how big my um, actual boxes were going to be. And then I thought to myself, I really don't want to cut out um, 24 boxes. So what I've done is I've made it deep enough and wide enough that um, on one side of the box is going to be one number and then on the other side is going to be the other number. But I'll show you what I mean. So we've got these here. So we're going to pop these on first so you can see. So my box when it is assembled is going to be so it's three inches high by four inches wide and by two inches um, and what you're going to do is you can put um, a divide in the middle so if this side is number one and uh, you pull the drawer open you've got your little gift in that side this side is number two you pull it open this way and you've got your gift in that side and a little divider because um, sometimes making 24 boxes is a lot so already matte and layered you can see some of these are absolutely gorgeous so let's open our glue before we use it because that always helps so let's pop that there remembering to put them the right way up and then this one, I, the candy canes. I love the candy canes and um, the little um, gingerbread houses. The imagery is just gorgeous on these. So just matte and layered with some silver glitter. So just pressing that down and then we'll glue those sides together and bring in my paper clips. So, because um, it's just this textured cardstock. Again, so I've got this textured cardstock from the Summer Meadow of all things. So that Summer Meadow paper, uh, well, linen cardstock pad. Absolutely, the colours in there work perfectly with these um, Christmas of all things, Christmas pads. They just work absolutely gorgeous. Colour palette is spot on. Let's just bring that and then we'll pop it to the side to dry while we get on with the rest. So bringing that up and in. Oh, did a godsend these um, paper clips. I don't know why I 
didn't start bringing them sooner. So you can see that I've got a lovely big box. And all you're going to do is however you want to create a divider in the middle, you absolutely can do. So then what I'm going to do is, did you get our glitter glues? If you didn't, why not? Because they are the best thing since sliced bread. Um, so what numbers have I got? 11 and 12 we're going to pop on here. I played with them for the first time the other day. Did you? Yes. I, I had love to use these. the studios down at um, Hobby Maker. They're amazing, aren't they? They are so much fun. I had a lot, of, so I launched these down there. had a lot of fun with them. Let me go with red again. In fact, I actually did a demo where I showed you how you could blend two together to create um, sort of the hair. I stamped out one of those gorgeous stamps that we had, you know, with all the women with the beautiful hair. I um, cannot remember what they're called. The beauty, natural beauty stamps? Yes, that's it. I, mixed, I showed you how you could mix two and still create that lovely um, sort of um, preserved highlight. What, in her hair? With the glue, glitter glue. Oh, yeah. very nice. <laughs> so 11 and 12, we're going to pop that to the side to dry. Um, again, this is the slip, very much like you saw me do earlier. Obviously, the only thing that's changed is this is a little bit bigger, but still in that lovely card stock. Let's trim that edge and that edge. And again, I'm going to use my tape pen just for speed. So fold that over. I always um, fold them both ways to make sure it folds flat both ways. And, and then I'm going to bring in the rest, so I've got lots. And again, all the different coloured card is all from that Summer Meadow um, card pad, which just, it works perfectly with this. So this is going to be my top one. I'm going to pop that to the side. Uh, this is still drying. So, so we've got one and two. And we're going to pop... I mean, I when I make a, a create um, an advent calendar, I have my numbers in random orders. I know lots of people like them ordered, but it's entirely up to you. So what I've done down the sides of the edge of the almost Christmas tree is I've cut um, a piece of cat, uh, paper and I've had the I've got the pattern following on. So that top one follows on just from the way that I've cut them. So onto the other side, um, I'm going to do exactly the same. So if I pop those to the side and turn that over, you can see on the other side of my box, there's that one. So what we're going to do is, this is going to be that side. So I need to make sure that my pattern follows down from this to this to this one. So you can see that the stocking follows onto there. And then, there we go, the barbell follows on or carries on down to there. So let's get the tacky glue because we're going on to silver. So again, you don't have to cut the, the pattern out so it follows. I just think it looks nice when it's all um, sort of made up and put together and you can see that that pattern follows. I think it just, it looks lovely. So I'm gonna pop that one on there. Let's glue this one down as well. And then pop that on the side. My other box should be ready in a minute. I'm going to try and remember not to stick my finger in that wet glitter glue. Because <laughs> you know I'm going to. Right, let's glue these on. So, still going to use my tacky glue and just be frugal with it, and then it won't sort of. Um, warp my paper. So move that. Oh, that's where my other paper clips have gone. Look, they're there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. So let's bring this one out as well. A bit more glue. 
So these papers just really are perfect for these. This particular pad is perfect for the kids. They're going to love everything about them, from the, the candy canes to the baubles to those gingerbread houses. It's just all absolutely gorgeous. Let me get those off. Because then all we need to do now is we're just going to glue these together. So this should... I've done, look, I just did it. I've just said I'm not going to put my finger in it, and I've just done it. <laughs> the, good thing, the good thing with these glitter glues is, though, I can just sort of nudge that back, and it, it will wipe off. So if I come back in with my glitter glue, I can go back on. Those toppers are really fabulous in that pad, aren't they? They really are. Absolutely lovely. And I love the matte layering because it just makes them look even bigger than what they actually are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's pop that through. Right, so we're going to put this together. So if you remember, I'm holding, I'm sitting them in such a way that I have my lovely pattern going down the side. So this is my top one. So let me pop those there. And that is the inside one. And that is the outside one. Right, so it's literally, it's just gluing um, those sides together. So we're just going to glue, again, when I was saying earlier, you need to make sure that you've got that lovely crisp burnish. Make sure that you do, because then they're going to sit together beautifully. So we're just going to, oh, remembering not to stick my finger on that middle one. And then pop glue on this side as well. And this is where, especially if you're making them for kids, this is where you might want to use red liner and your wet glue to give you that extra strength of them together. Um, that one doesn't go there. This one goes here. Yeah, um, use your red liner and your glue because then what you've got is that extra strength but you've still got the manoeuvrability. Um, while you are sticking these together. So that is just that bottom row. And then this one's going to go on top. So I'm gonna, we're going to glue the bottom and the side. Because again, even though I've only used this textured cardstock, once I've added this glue and we've stuck them all together, um, it really does make them very rigid, really strong. So on the bottom, pop that together. So we're just creating that lovely pyramid, making sure that they're all nice and straight. And then this last one's going to go on top. But before I pop it on top, I'm just going to pop them to the side. Because I've just got another piece, just matte and layered. I've got this one onto some foam pads. And um, because it's the top one, I'm going to make it stand out a little bit more. This would also make a nice um, present for like a new baby at Christmas, wouldn't it? Well? It absolutely would. It, yeah, and again, because you've got the ability, ability to make these boxes as big or as small as you want them, they could have little booties in, little mittens, yes. um, all sorts in all of these. So I'm just going to pop that to the side and then lastly with these gorgeous papers, we're just going to create a nice um, bow. So... Um, I was asked a little while ago if I could show how to do this and I just didn't get time on the show that I was on. So I've just cut strips, they're all one inch wide and they've all, they're all just going down in inch increments and I think this one starts at eight inches. Um, but that's just because that's the size that I'm doing them. You can create them whatever size you want. You're just going to tape that end there and then on that join I'm going to add a little bit more tape in there and we're just going to pop it together and you're going to get that sort of figure eight. You're going to do exactly the same on as many of these as you want to create. I'm going to put a bit of tape on the inside. On that fold, I always have that fold or that join to the bottom and you can see it comes together lovely. Oh, this looks good. I've never seen this before. I just, before... Um, 
You're a blooming witch, you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, she is breaking out the big guns, honestly. And uh, you need to go back and read all the comments, Michelle, because everybody is saying they're saving this show. Oh. This you. is amazing. Why have I never thought to do something like this before? Something so simple. Yeah. So you can see, you've just got, you're going to have three, four, five pieces to, um, to just pop together. So we're going to pop a little bit of glue in the middle. And then on that next piece, a little bit more glue in the middle. Build this up as much as you want it to go. I've got three there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the three. And then you're just going to get the smallest piece. I'm going to trim that. It's an inch wide. I'm going to trim it just a little bit because it's going to sit in there a little bit nicer. Just, again, tape or wet glue. I'm going to say whichever is ever your poison then, but whichever is your preference. And then we're going to pop that bow. round. And then what, actually, if this was a little bit smaller, in fact, that's going to sit in there. Yes. Perfectly. Love that. So let's bring this in. Now this is dry. So we're just going to glue that one right on top. So again, you can see how, how easy these are to come together. Um, the only thing with these is they take a while but they're an absolute labour of love, definitely. So, that's going to pop on here. So, let me get my glue. Put a little bit of glue there. And we're going to pop that just on there. Now, I didn't think, but what you could... Let me just pull my drawer out just so I can hold underneath. But, um, let's put that back in. Oh, I love with, this. With these. So I could have, if I'd have thought about it, the, if these were a little bit longer, just trim those, especially if they were a little bit longer, and have those ah, coming yes. down the side. Oh, yes. So let's glue that on. It's only a short one. Nice long ones, maybe all the way down, would look good. Mm. Let's pop. It's funny when you do something, then you see something else afterwards that you could do. Yeah. Let's pop that one on Love there. Love that. And this one on here. Oh, there we go. So, oh, we're going to put that wax melt in, aren't we? Um, I've got how many? I've got so many to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the green one. Uh, no one's having mine. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping my one forever. Yeah, ever and ever and ever. But let's pop that in the middle. Uh, do you know what? You could be using these um, on the fronts of all of your drawers if yes. you wanted to. Um, to instead of numbers, things like that. But if I turn that round for you now. Love that. There we go. So um, I would definitely... Now I've put this together, because I've used textured cardstock, what I would do to add some strength to this is I would mat and layer on top as well. So I would cut a piece of card out as wide as that. So what are we talking? Um, four, five inches by the four inches. Mat and layer some card onto the top um, just to give it that added stability. But you've got that lovely bow on the top. And um, can you see what I mean by the added stability? So it's a great project, on there, that one. Pop a piece of card. Um, or you stick a card to start with, but yeah, you've got um, numbers on both sides. Put that divider in the middle of your drawers and, and you can have 12 gifts in there. That's absolutely amazing. Now, if you want to be making projects like our Michelle's doing, uh, there are paper pads. Now, we've popped on the side there, you can see our paper pads. So it's the 12 by 12 paper pads. It's our collection with 72 sheets in total. Uh, so you can get them for platinum price, £23.20 or $31.20, which is incredible. Um, and I've just been given, Nicola's just gone on the hunt for samples of them. Uh, honestly, we have the best design 
design team, I think, yeah. out there. Uh, they are so amazing. Love this one. In fact, Michelle, in fact, I'll open it. This one is full of tea lights. So if ever you need, if ever you need tea lights for your wax seals, you've that's got them in here. Are. Absolutely, yeah. I that's a brilliant that sample. Amazing. But look at that. So amazing. I Let's give that. you a shout out. That's from our Hades. Is that the time already? But look at all these different projects. Liam's just been in. He's given me his box. He's been making this one, which is I incredible. Although I did give him a funny look when he gave me an empty box. I mean, if you're going to give me a nice good. gift box like that, Liam, you know, at least put chocolates in. <laughs> he tried to reprieve himself and bring me some cheddars in, but that's not going to cut the mustard <laughs> when I was hoping for chocolate. Uh, look at this. Another little way of doing um, little table decorations. Just absolutely incredible. There's boxes galore. What about a cracker? I mean, uh, there we go. Put that way so you can see it. Just a beautiful cracker, which just looks absolutely incredible. The things you can be doing with these papers, what you know, what Michelle has done, what our design team have done. Um, it's there is just so so many different things. I've got a few wax seals to show you um, for samples, but let's get a vote of the show going. Uh, so Michelle's going to bring her makes that she's done. Um, we're going to put a vote to those, um, and then we're going to look to see if we've got our last person um, to pop on our Christmas tree. So Michelle, give your makes a number. Right. Number one was the card that we started with, with the wax seal and the papers. Number one. Number two is the train. And then number three is the, um, the leaning tower of, of advent cal calendars. Just a little bit. It's had a bit of a tip up before the show. <laughs> Do you know what, Michelle? It's really, really tough um, because every single make is good. I even love number one. I think that card is absolutely beautiful. So, uh, uh, yeah, good luck choosing one, <laughs> two, or three. Um, I would choose any one of those. They are absolutely amazing. Um, right, remember the showstopper. We will run through that in a second. I just want to give the name of the person that's been chosen today. And that is. Oh, do the drum roll. Can't forget the drum roll. Alice, now I hope I say this right, but I think it's Gurin. Gurin? It might be Gurin. I'm sorry, Gurig? Alice Gurig. Let's go with that. Alice Gurig. <laughs> um, I might have not pronounced it right, Alice, but I will write it correctly. I'll make sure I write it correctly. Although, I can't promise you that either because I've got no glasses on. So, um, <laughs> but we are, no, Alice, and I think it's G-O-E, and then it's H-R-I-G, H-R-I-G, and Alice is on YouTube. Right, Alice, there we go. There's your name. We're going to pop that into our box. That, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the final show. So these are going to be drawn later. I can't even begin to tell you how super excited I am um, that we get to draw your name out and tell someone that's very lucky that they've won a 250 pounds uh, or 250 euros or 250 dollars to spend on our website i mean that's quite an incredible gift isn't it so uh, uh, i love that and that's just for you uh, thank you from us uh, to say thank you for being part of our christmas event this week which has been incredible so uh, all really nice so many people are loving the show so many people saving the show um uh, stephanie said debbie michelle the two of you together today has been excellent um tears tess is saying i love 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 this project jane saying wow you have outdone yourself again Michelle Lu 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 Louise is saying Michelle you have had me totally mesmerized of your art for making these boxes amazing you are a star Nadia said Michelle has not this knocked this out of the box with the demos today. Uh, Rhonda is saying, Debbie, I think you should frame your wax seal. Rhonda, I am going to frame my wax seal. <laughs> it's going to take proud place on my craft room wall. Uh, Alison uh, saying, I must admit, I've saved both shows as Michelle's projects have been incredible. How do we choose? Well, while you are choosing, uh, I'm going to run through that showstopper. Let's show you just a few of these samples to start with. Oh, sorry. 
George. He went straight to there and I just showed some of these samples uh, because they're beautiful. I love this idea, um, Michelle, because um, uh, you don't think to decorate something like this. These are like bath crystals um, and then putting the wax seal on top of that. Yes. I mean, you don't get that perfect wax seal, but actually that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It just comes yeah. out really well. What about a log slice? That is so nice. So having your log slice is just making a nice Christmas decoration, ornament, looks amazing. That's using, you were saying about the metallic pens yeah. on top. Yeah. So incredible. A little box here. I love this. Decorating with all your berry embellishments and having it inside. Look, on your envelope. I just think that's amazing. Oh, and your tag. Look at that. That's a beautiful one. Absolutely lovely. Uh, uh, Sarah done a tutorial for this, didn't she, where you make the... Um this is all folded. You don't yeah. add any sticky stuff. So uh, that's amazing. Uh, another one here making that actual tag that's coming out the top. Uh, and then your envelope, using it in different ways on the front of your envelope. That looks really expensive, I love doesn't that. it? I it think looks, it's yeah, brilliant. It um, but then also, oh, we've got a little dangler there um, showing it at the back. The dangler is to say who made it, actually. Shall we uh, give you a shout out? Sorry for everyone we haven't given a shout out, ha shout out by. Alison Green has made that. It's a brilliant sample. Um, but a big thank you to our design team because they have made some of the most incredible samples for us uh, with those pads. I think we can all agree that um, when we bring Christmas to you, our design team would love Christmas and our paper pads that we do, which is amazing. Uh, right, going back to the showstopper, if you want to get that full showstopper and everything you see in the picture here, uh, you will be getting all of it, including your two paper pads, your two boards, which is your boxer board and your uh, envelope box maker. You'll also getting that wax seal kit and you'll also be getting the most amazing extra wax um, pellets um, and your paper pads as well plus that red liner tape which is just beautiful now in that wax seal kit let's just quickly run through what you're going to get uh, let me open up the beautiful box because it truly is such a lovely gift um, in fact I'm thinking grab these for a Christmas gift as well. So if you want to go for the showstopper and then have an additional wax seal kit, uh, you can do that as well because it's so beautifully presented. It's a really nice thing to give to someone as a Christmas present. I also think it's quite a gentleman's Christmas yes. present as well. I yeah. think um, we forget about men crafters who yeah. love doing this sort of thing. It's almost like their thing to melt things down yes. and make things and stamp. So I think it's a great little kit for that. So you're getting all of that one. I cannot believe that. How on earth have we only got four minutes left of the show? Um, I think this has been the quickest launch I've ever been on in my entire life. Um, it's it's flown. just flown by, absolutely flown. You're getting your gold and silver in that kit, but in that showstopper, you are getting those additional elements um, of all your antique gold, your rose gold and your platinum. You're also getting that red, gold and green. <laughs> come, come. Um, you're getting those ones as well. You're also getting those two incredible paper pads which you are absolutely loving and I'm not surprised. Uh, one just extra thing, if you want to go for our bonus buy today, um, pop your bonus paper pads into your basket. We're just going to pop them on the bottom of the screen now so you can see those. Um, pop those into your basket basket with the showstopper and you will get them half price so it's a really great way of getting an extra two paper pads um, for that half price deal so uh, I do love the showstoppers but actually the bonus buys have been incredible uh, lately with them as well right Michelle um, we've got second chance Sunday what can we expect from that later on um, I think we're going to go over all the launches of the week so we've got a little bit of glitter glues we've got glitter pastes um, we've got those half Creator card dies. Um, we've got those frame dies. We've got. We've, oh, we've, we've got, got to lots. go back over the launches. I think. Yeah. Lots to look forward to. Yeah. Well, I can't thank you enough for uh, this hour. It's been no, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you've definitely inspired me, and I know oh. you've inspired so many people. I'm sorry that I haven't got to read um, uh, all your comments out because I, honestly, we've had more comments than I've ever seen come through before. There was just absolutely loads. Um, oh, and we have a demo of the show. We nearly forgot that then. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> the winner of demo of the show is number 
number two. Oh, the train. The train. It had to be the train, didn't it? Absolutely. Um, the craft along will obviously automatically get put in. The train will be put in. You can choose on Second Chance Sunday later on. So uh, that will be that. And remember, someone is going to win from our, um, where have I put it? Here it is, our Christmas tree box. One of you in there is going to win £250. So you're going to want to come back for Second Chance Sunday at 7 o'clock. We will see you then. Bye.